verdict tournaments. Scan that QR code for all the information. 28-year-old Ketlin Sosa, five foot three, a 64-inch reach. And out of Finland, Mayu Suotama, 36 years old with a 66-inch reach. Now let's send it in to Joe Martinez. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are set to go with our co-featured bout this evening. Three rounds, this in the flyweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. She's a striker sitting five feet, three inches tall. Weighing in officially 123 pounds in 14 fights. Her record stands at 11 victories with three defeats. Fighting out of Manaus, Amazonas, Brazil. Here is Caitlin Esquentadinho Sosa. And across the cage, her opponent fighting out of the red corner. A freestyle fighter standing five feet, six inches tall. She too weighed in officially 123 pounds and in 14 fights, holds a record of eight victories with six defeats. Fighting out of Imatra, Finland, here is Maiju, Mountain Mama Suotama. And your referee in charge, Marcio La Selva. Sosa in the yellow and black, Suotama in the fuchsia top and the black shorts. The Mountain Mama, she said, yeah, I said fuchsia. You, gotta, is that, is, so you tell me what that color that is. Fuchsia. I was going to say pink or salmon, <laughs> hot pink. Oh, I'm very impressed right now. Very, very tall stance for Suotama. Ketlin Sosa entered this with her hands quite low. I asked Suotama, why Mountain Mama? She said, I love that song by John Denver. <laughs> As if it was a stupid question. I said, is John Denver big in Finland? She said, John Denver is big everywhere. <laughs> I never knew that was a fighting song, but she said it was. Country Roads Take Me Home. It's about fighting and then going back home after the fight. And we'll see if she goes home victorious here tonight. And that was a beautiful spin-off from Soza against the cage. She grabbed the wrist, shifted, and spun completely around. So Thomas still has control of the head and is reaching for that leg. So is on the defense. Wrapping around the neck there. Well, Megan, when you're preparing for one fighter through a camp and then all of a sudden two weeks before, it's somebody that you might not even have a scouting report on. What does that do for somebody like Souza? I mean, honestly, for somebody like Souza, I don't think she really skipped a beat at all. If anything, it just is going to motivate her even more so to go out there, do what she wants to do, showcase her skills, and in her opinion, get the win so she can fight for the title next. She's got eight wins via knockout coming into this fight, does Souza. She's extremely beautiful backspin sidekick. Flying knee attempt. Well, this very, is actually, very relaxed. Exactly. And I think for somebody who has an 11 and 3 record and has never fought out of her home country of Brazil, I'm very ex interested to see what she brings to the case tonight as an you know, with her U.S. debut. Yeah, she's already drawn blood from Suotama. Suotama, nice timing on that shot. Beautifully done. Souza defending, but Suotama on the single leg now up against the fence. Um, you know, she honestly, Souza made no qualms about her disdain. She said, this is a step down for me. I was supposed to fight for the title before. Then my opponent, you know, was, just came off this brilliant win. Here's somebody stepping in last minute. No, she's grateful for the opportunity to fight, but she's like this, you know, I was expecting higher competition. And you wonder, is she taking her lightly? Well, you I never want to underestimate somebody when you step in that cage, right, no. Jules? No, absolutely not. I mean, it's fighting. But I do think that can account for, you know, the very, very relaxed approach she has. And so Atama, nice and tight in on that leg. She, so Atama is very tenacious on the wrestling and looking for that takedown. But Sosa's doing a really good job of framing under the face of Suwatama and just creating 
leverage that she's not able to chain those takedowns together. Yeah, she's leveraging with the shin and on the face, so she's doing pressure up and pressure out, and that's, that's nice. I like it. So Thomas staying tight, though, looking for those little shots. Beautiful short elbow on the inside by Selza there. She's digging she that under clips right under Beautiful. there, yeah. So Watson is showing a lot of strength in this clinch position right now. Using those braids to grind up against. Uh, yeah, that's a weapon <laughs> out yep. there. That hurts. has got control of that wrist and actually pulling through framing with her her arm and kind of wrapped around there and then shoving her head in it's one of staying tall though tall against the cage really kind of looking for her opportunity to shift no. well. I guess we're not going to have a clinch battle. Whoa! Sosa came flying in right after that separation. She's not afraid to take risks out there. It's not hard to see why she's got eight knockouts to her resume. Mm -hmm. Very explosive. Oh! Beautiful finish of that round. What a very emphatic ending, a stamp on the end of that round. Well, you can see a little damage there for Suotama. Now she's tasted the power of Souza for one round. What types of adjustments is she going to have to make here going into round number two? I mean, I feel like she needs to start, if she wants to take it to the ground, which it's clear that she's wanting to, and she's very tenacious for those takedowns, she needs to start chaining them together because right now, they're just stalemating, and if that's going to happen, she's not doing any damage, she's not advancing the position, the referee is just going to separate them, which gives Salza the advantage. All right, let's check in with Eve to see what the fans think on verdict. So that first round was pretty exciting. Souza looked very confident in that one. The fight fans have Souza up at 9.76 versus Suotama's 9.42, and I think it's from Souza's aggression and, and, and her pressure. Guys, go to verdictmma.com and let us hear your voice. Aggression and pressure from Sosa. A good way to describe what we saw from her through the first five minutes. Ooh, Big overhand nice right overhand. from Sosa. Very short, sharp strikes from the fin. Well, the Brazilian holding her hands up. Oh, kind of a spin and a miss there. Holding her hands up a little higher, but still staying very fluid, very relaxed. Oh, beautiful sharp check hook there. I'm loving Souza's movement. You're bouncing very, around, isn't yes. she? Yes. She's never stationary. She's not a solid target for Suatama to really land anything detrimental to Selza. And, and she's the way that she's able to so f speedily close that range is just incredible. It's very hard to stay like in a good defense against somebody who is that fluid who can reach that far. Beautiful timing on that shot, but Souza is able to get the underhooks, defend it, throw a deep, knee. deep shot too, Julie. I love the way people have been wrapping up the hands and then hitting the liver. 
very nice. And again, Suatama, she is a tough fighter, and she's fighting for little things very well. And the tightness of her frame, the way she's keeping things very kind of close and in and not overextending, she knows those flying kicks and those spins could come from any angle. She's making the right strategically safe decisions. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, they are not necessarily pushing the win, to, or I, I would say the points in her favor, possibly. So has got her nicely wrapped up there and against the cage. And she's doing just such a phenomenal job of using that control with her forehead. I know you've talked about this for as long as I've been watching Invicta <laughs> Julie. Use your heads, ladies. <laughs> Double underhook and spin off from Souza. So Tama staying, she's sagging down with her weight a little bit, making it hard to be spun herself and really looking for an opening to kind of sit a leg in there and get over, but getting underneath that head pressure, very hard to do. I feel like it's like a cage grab, but I don't have the angle, so I don't want to call it. Thought I saw some fingers in there. Good little shots in there. Oh no, don't break them up, come on. Sorry, I just love the tie-up of the hands across the body. It's creative and fun. May not be fan-friendly, though. Oof. Oh, beautiful. Combination oh, from Souza. Leg kick from Souza. She's very creative with the way that she approaches her striking and her combinations. It's it's not very traditional boxing. It, it is not traditional kickboxing. Yet. It's almost like she's created her own style that works for her in MMA. Well, you're saying almost like it's almost like kind of a drunken like monkey style in a sense that she'll look <laughs> down it and then Tim it'll Elliot. Yeah, it's, it's just Tim Elliott fight. Yeah, it's, it's very creative, the fakes and fakes. She uses all of her posture for that. Her eyes look down, you know. Like she's constantly fainting with her shoulders, fainting with her legs, swishing her stances. I mean, I'm, I'm, I've trained with Tim for a yeah. very long time. Oh, nice so. body shot there, yeah. And yeah, she's you're reminiscent. From, she's coming from every angle, too. I mean, it's hard shot there from the Brazilian. It's hard to train for somebody like this. Mm -hmm. Takedown attempt from Souza. Much less on two weeks' notice. Exactly. Uh. Now we see that framing, that steering wheel bicep control there. I love it. And still. So Thomas doing a really nice job of staying tight and you know, a lot of those shots hit, and a lot of them she was able to get out of the way from. Souza's Sousa, just giving you so much to think about, right? The way, the different ways and angles at which she's attacking. You know, body kicks, uh, overhand shots. She's just throwing up a lot of different offense, but she's not just head hunting. She's not just going to the head. She's not just going to the body. She's not just going to the leg. She's mixing it all and blending it all so well together. Look at that body shot right that was there. Hard. Beautiful. I just her movement, her feints, her fainting with her shoulders. It's just, it is just the complete package, and she's showing how incredibly well-rounded she is. A lot for Suotama to process. But there she stands with one round to go. She Still in this thing. A let's, while. Yeah. let's find out what, uh, what the fans think on verdict, Eves. Well, the fans still have Sosa winning this fight convincingly. Uh, she's really putting it together well. And like you said, Megan, you know, she's being really creative. I think she's really mixing her martial arts tonight. That's what the name of the game is, isn't it, Eve? Is she? Oh, lovely. Oh, so Tom is right back there trying to hit that right hand, but just out of range. And that's the thing is, if you overextend, those long Brazilian limbs can come at you, but 
I think it's the rhythm. Mm -hmm. The rhythm of Souza is not your traditional boxing or kickboxing. She's striking on the offbeat. She's mixing it up and she, her timing is so unorthodox because she has the striking down so pat that she knows that she can break the rhythm and create opportunities to strike in. Oof. Oh, that would definitely shot. hurt her. Look yeah. at that elbow really yeah. staying in tight there to protect her. Oh, and another one. And I think she's going to keep the attention down there, come up high. Right. Yeah, that, ar that right arm is down guarding her right side for Suotama. Oh, spin kick. It, it's beautiful motion from Sosa. It's almost like, I, you know, I keep mentioning other martial arts, but I think about Capoeira from Brazil, too, and just right. kind of the offbeat, the off angle from that, and making the fight a dance. Sosa caught her with one of those kicks oh. to the right side in the first round, and she just has, has chipped away at that. Ooh, nice shot there. So, Tom, you know, and the thing is, some of those spin kicks have actually hit the elbow of Suotama, but hitting the arm when it's in that position still ricochets into the body. Like, well, you still feel the impact. It's still going to force the elbow Ooh. into that spot. Oh, nice. Yes. <laughs> oh, huge left hand there. Just her ability to strike so well from both stances is very impressive. We've seen a lot of sidekicks tonight. I am a fan for multiple fighters. You definitely see a giant red well on the body of Suwashima. And I mean, I'd like to say, Souza, go back to the well. I think she really wants that knockout. And sometimes you can't hunt it too much. You know, you have to stay on the small damage to get the big damage. But she doesn't strike me as someone who stresses much. Oh, oh. The, the amount of body shots that we have seen tonight makes me cringe on the inside. I love it. Yeah, it makes me to giggle. Watch it, but I do not. Oh, what? the attempt to. Oh, that's just beautiful right there. I, you know, if this, so Tama is very, very disciplined in this. She has She's been. not giving up very much space. She's keeping her hands together. You know, there's that right hand dropping a bit. But she's continuing to, you know, come back to her stance and look for an opportunity to attack. Like, I, I feel like her hands dropping is part of her confidence. I feel like she's she's felt and seen everything that she's needed to see from Sawatama, and I feel like that's just a sign of her confidence in her own striking and head movement and ability to get out of the way of those strikes that Sawatama is throwing. Suotama has just not really been able to initiate much of her own offense so far in this fight, though. No, she really hasn't, Nate. And I feel like the timing and the rhythm and the unorthodox movement that Souza brings and is bringing right now, I don't think Suwatama has an answer for that. I don't think she's yeah. able to really figure out the timing because there is no rhyme or rhythm behind Souza's movement. It's, it's very capoeira-like and, and so hard to train for, particularly on two weeks' notice. She she plays a very violent game of tag, <laughs> getting out of the way, yeah. smacking. Oh, nice takedown attempt. Oh, my goodness. Thirty seconds remaining. That's Capoletta right there. <laughs> I don't even know if she has that background. I just, it's beautiful to see martial arts on display and just the mixed martial arts, like you said. It has been a potpourri of offense from Souza. And three rounds are complete. We'll find out what the judges think in a moment. All right, let's find out what the fans thought on verdict as we check in with Eve Edwards. The fans kept leaning towards Souza in this one as she showed us a display of martial arts with capoeira, karate, kung fu, and everything else that you could imagine. So let's see how the judges have this one scored out. 
of that, let's go to Joe Martinez. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards, and all three have it, 30-27. Your winner by unanimous decision, Caitlin Esquentadinho Sosa!